My name is Ate Giselle Che. I'm from Simbok here. When you walk with grace, I'm here to thank God for the miracle He has done in, in my life. When I started uh, worshiping here, after some months later, I went to the, I was feeling pains under my stomach. I went to the hospital, they said I had ovarian cysts. Notre soeur, elle est là pour rendre grâce à Dieu. Parce que dernièrement, elle est partie à l'hôpital et on a donné, après la constatation, les résultats disant qu'elle avait le kyste ovarien. Then, just uh, around that time, the program came up, the program that had the, the resurrection water. When I used the water, the ovary left from the left side to the right side. If you can see the ochography, you see. Just watch your screen, people of God. Regardez votre écran. Voilà les résultats qu'elle a reçus. Après le programme qu'on a eu sur l'eau sur bénie, elle a aspergé et la douleur a eu à se balancer d'un côté plutôt. Then another program came in in church that we had the anointing oil. When I used the anointed oil, the, the ovarian cyst disappeared. Celebrate Master Jesus Christ. Donc comme elle avait le kyste ovarien d'un côté, ça s'est balancé de l'autre côté. Et après un autre programme à l'église euh, qu'on a utilisé, l'huile bénie, elle a pris l'huile bénie, elle a, elle, a, elle a utilisé à son corps. Et après quand elle est partie à l'hôpital pour vérifier encore, elle a vu clairement que le kyste a disparu. This is really a mystery to me, especially to me as a medical personnel. Because I know when you have ovarian cysts, you can even end up not getting, giving birth to a child. Your ovaries can even get to the point of rupturing. When I had this, when I did this echography, my colleagues say maybe I went and did it somewhere that I knew. So they contributed money again and gave me to go and do the second echography. And I did it and behold, there was no more ovarian Celebrate Master Jesus Christ, people of God. Are you just sitting like that, somebody? Let me hear you scream for Master Jesus Christ. Elle est partie à l'hôpital faire un deuxième test encore, mais pour confirmer ce qu'elle avait vu au, premier, au, au, au dernier test, elle a vu clairement que le kyste ovarien avait disparu. Et elle, étant euh, quelqu'un qui travaille à l'hôpital, elle sait clairement que quand tu as le kyste, ça peut apporter des problèmes ou des graves problèmes dans ta vie. Peut-être tu ne peux pas accoucher ou euh, tes entrailles vont, 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 seront perdues ou quoi que ce soit qui peut se passer à cause du kyste ovarien. Mais elle va rendre grâce à Dieu parce qu'elle est en bonne santé maintenant. So I'm here to return all the glory back to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Celebrate Master Jesus Christ, the people of God. Acclamé Put your hands Seigneur together Jesus. for Master Jesus. Jesus. So sister, to the glory of God, what advice do you have to give to the viewers that are watching you right now? When the man of God gives something, it's not just for us to take and keep in our houses. When you keep in your houses without using them, they will not protect you. But when you use them according to his instruction, believe me, they will work miracles in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Come Celebrate Master Jesus Christ, people of God. Good morning, people of God. When you walk with grace, praise the Lord. I'm called Sir Vanel. I'm from Telunden. I'm standing here to testify the marvelous thing that God has done in my life. One week ago, I had a dream. In that dream, I was beaten by a snake on my two legs. As I woke up from that dream around 2 o'clock a.m., I was not able to check my two legs on the bed. No, not I was not able to move. I break my junior brother to rush and go and take this oil, not my head, not my blood. As he was going, I said, what am I doing on the bed? I struggle, I struggle, I check my leg. I went down, I prayed, and I administered the oil. Immediately as I administered the oil, I was going back to bed. I heard a voice, take your handkerchief and get, and get jailbreak handkerchief and tie it on your two legs where precisely the snake beat you. I followed the instruction, I went back to bed. One woman pursued, in fact she appeared. The woman appeared in the dream. She was like pursuing me. I was like struggling to run, struggling to run, no way. She said, come that thing on your leg, that is what is holding you from running. Uh -uh. I looked my leg, I said, I'm not seeing anything. I want to go. She was a far distance between me because she could not approach me because of this handkerchief I touched on my leg. As she was saying, untie that thing on your leg, untie that thing. I looked my two legs, I even touched it, I'm not seeing anything. I said, ah, as I was going, ah, she was angry. 
Then she disappeared. As I woke up like that, I prayed. I was still feeling pains, physical. I was still feeling pains on my two legs. I took the handkerchief, I prayed on it, I tied it again. Immediately as I laid the handkerchief, all that pain disappeared. I was able to walk, I was able to make exercise with my leg. Again, I have another testimony. Yesterday, as Daddy said, when leaving the house, we should always administer our oil. Not my head, not my blood. I was going to the market, I took the oil and administered it. On my way going to the market, several accidents, but by God's grace, I escaped. As I was buying food stuff, I want to see my right leg is not able to walk. It just stiff like that. I was not able to jerk, not to do anything. Then I was, as I was not able to walk, two people came and held me and made me to sit down. As I was sitting down, I saw my leg, no reaction. They pinched my leg, throw water, but no reaction. There was one woman that said, she know my solution, but I should give her money. I said, oh God, help me. Let the God of Prophet Albert see, see me through. As I was calling the name that had the pain was increasing, I cried. I called the name, the pain increased. That man said, my feet don't make sense. That should give her 500, she should give me the oil. As I was saying, I said, la mère, je ne pas. She said, ah, I was only calling God of Prophet Albert. See me through. I want to see the woman said, my feet, prends lui là. As she gave me the oil, she said, it's plum oil. That as she put it on my palm, I said, the God of Prophet Albert manifest in this oil and massage my leg. As I was massaging, the thing was releasing some more, some more. The woman turned and looked me. She said, take again some more. As I wanted to drink some, I said, the God of Prophet Albert, as I'm taking this oil, this is how that pain is disappearing. Immediately, I shall took it and she gave me some again and massaged my leg and I heard a terrible sound pushing away the pain. That is how yesterday I was able to walk, move again with my leg. Celebrate Master Jesus Christ, the people of God. The advice I can give is that we should always have faith and we should always have our anointing gadget. Because if I was not having this, my handkerchief and my olive oil, I could not be alive today. Hallelujah. Moi c'est Masson Wa Ginette Laura. Je vis à Simbo Amendon. Je veux remercier Dieu pour les miracles qu'il a fait pour moi et pour le fils de mon frère grand frère. Ma sister is here to thank God for what the Lord has done in her life and what the Lord has done in her nephew's life also. Les mots me manquent peuple de Dieu tellement je suis content pour la situation que j'ai traversée ça ne fait même pas une semaine. Mercredi je suis passé on était ici là dans à la à l'église à la prière. La femme de mon grand frère m'a envoyé le message que ça ne va pas avec l'enfant qu'elle a envoyé à Kumba. So her sister, when she was here Wednesday before the last one, her, her sister that is in Kumba sent her a message on WhatsApp with the child's picture telling her that the child was not fine. Il lui a demandé qu'est-ce qui ne va pas avec l'enfant. Elle me dit qu'elle me ne comprend pas. L'enfant ne fait que chauffer. Mais quand il me parle comme ça, ils sont en train de transférer l'enfant à l'hôpital. So what they gave us information was that they, was, they were taking the child to the hospital because they didn't know what was happening. Dans la nuit de mercredi, il a appelé, me dit que oui, on a hospitalisé l'enfant, on est en train de faire les examens. Je dis ah ok, Dieu merci. So they took the child to the hospital and they started doing some tests with the child to see what was wrong with the child. Je dis matin maintenant quand je l'appelle, elle me dit que c'est grave. L'enfant est entré dans le coma aux environs de 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 13 heures. And on Thursday, the following day, the child went on coma. It took, she, the child entered coma at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Mais Dieu dit que, mais qu'est-ce qui se passe? Pourquoi l'enfant est dans le coma? Qu'est-ce qui arrive à l'enfant? Elle me dit, elle-même ne comprend rien. Après les examens qu'on a fait à, à Kumba, on a dit que l'enfant allait partir. Dieu dit que, mais c'est quel genre de partie qui met l'enfant dans le coma? So, what, after the test that they did, with the child being in coma they had to verify what was really wrong with the child and suddenly the results came out saying that the child had hepatitis and it was a shocking aspect because she asked herself that how can hepatitis send somebody in the hospital to coma je dis dans la soirée je l'appelle elle me dit que la situation ne fait que continuer je prends le téléphone maintenant j'appelle daddy et dit que ouais daddy il y a mon enfant là qui ne ça ne va pas avec lui actuellement que je te parle il est dans le coma à Akumba. And her sister, she took her phone clearly and called Daddy. Just watch your screen, people. That Thursday up. evening to talk with Daddy because the child was in coma and she explained the situation to Daddy on phone. 
Quand j'ai appelé maintenant, Dadi, Dadi m'a dit, ok, ça va aller. Je vais aller prier pour, pour l'enfant. Tu vas manger. Vendredi, même chose. Bien. Ça me dit, même chose. Il n'y a pas la différence. Je crois même. Hein? Continuously, the child has difficulties. The difficulties increase. As a child, a sister after calling daddy, daddy had to pray for the child. Maintenant, quand j'ai appelé daddy, daddy m'a dit, ok, je vais aller sur les montagnes prier pour l'enfant. J'ai donc dit à daddy, daddy, comme c'est comme ça, moi, je voyage pour pour Kumba. See the situation hand daddy had to continue praying and went to the mountain even and her sister standing in front of us had to travel and even go to Kumba. Quand j'arrive maintenant à Kumba, je trouve l'enfant, l'enfant est toujours dans la même situation. J'enlève mon nul que j'ai en main. L'enfant était déjà sorti du, de, du coma à mon arrivée, mais l'enfant ne bougeait pas. Donc il faisait un peu les, les signes avec sa main. C'est là où ils ont su qu'il est sorti du coma, il ne bougeait pas. J'ai donc enlevé l'huile, l'huile que vous voyez. Not my head, not my blood. J'ai aspergé ça, j'ai mis ça sur mes mains, j'ai oué l'enfant. J'ai essayé d'écarter la bouche de l'enfant, j'ai aspergé l'autre. So, a sister, after having faced all the situation, what she did next was that she, uh, she went to Kumba and seeing the child, the child really left Kumba, but the child was not acting very well. So what she did was that she took her anointed water, her anointed oil, sorry, and anointed the child so that the child could react afterwards. Quand j'ai maintenant aspergé l'huile sur l'enfant, quelques minutes après, même 30 minutes, l'enfant est sorti du coma. And after applying the oil, not my head, not my blood, the child left coma. Maintenant, l'enfant ne pouvait pas toujours marcher ni faire quoi que ce soit. Les, les gens de, de Kumba, de Limbe, parce qu'on a transféré l'enfant à l'hôpital régional de Limbe. Les gens de Limbe m'ont fait aussi comprendre que l'enfant avait la méningite. C'est ça qui a frappé le cerveau de l'enfant et le mec dans le coma. And they had to even transfer the child from Kumba to Limbe. And being in Limbe, what they understood was that the child had meningitis. Reason why the child's brain had to go off to a certain point. And our sister prayed for the child with the anointed oil and everything was fine. Moi j'ai dit ceci, moi je ne doute pas des examens qu'ils ont fait là-bas, ni de Kumba, ni de Limbe. Mais le problème, ce qui était étonnant est que à Kumba, on a vu l'hépatite. À Limbe, on voit la méningite qui a frappé sur la tête de l'enfant. Moi, je n'ai rien compris. J'ai dit que c'est une tentation de diable. Au nom de mon prophète, ah ben, que moi, je sais très fort. Rien de cela ne peut arriver à cet enfant. Même la méningite, quand on dit que c'est sur l'enfant, là, ça va disparaître au nom de Jésus. So her sister, seeing that the, the doctors gave different reports, she was confused to a certain point, but she didn't doubt the results. Because in Kumba, they said it's tightest. But in Limbe, they gave, gave another report that the child had meningitis. So she just, just believed in the God of her father in the house and prayed for the, the child so that the sickness will all go. Et le mercredi maintenant, l'enfant me demandait déjà que maman, je vais manger, je vais faire ceci. Je sortais même déjà de la salle pour me balader avec l'enfant. And the, the following days, what happened was that the child came back to his normal self and he could even walk left and right and he, he could even eat. Et il y avait aussi la température de l'enfant ne faisait que augmenter. L'enfant ne faisait que chauffer et dit que mettre. Avec tous les remèdes qu'on donne à l'enfant, c'est pourquoi il ne fait que chauffer. La température ne fait que augmenter. J'ai donc pris ce mouchoir. J'ai plié ça, j'ai déposé sur le front de l'enfant. So after that, the child was better, but the temperature of the child was still increasing. So her sister took the handkerchief and placed it on the son. Et après cela, ça va déjà avec mon enfant. Je rends gloire à Dieu. Celebrate, Master Jesus Christ, the people of God. And the child is very fine now, as you can see on your screen. So sister, what is the advice you will give to the viewers that are watching you right now? Ce que je veux donner à mes soeurs et frères, que ne doutez pas de la parole de notre prophète. Parce que quand il parle, c'est... Ne doutons pas de sa parole. Parce que si moi je doutais de sa parole, je ne prenais pas lui signer le mouchoir. C'est que mon fils ne serait pas en vie aujourd'hui. My name is uh, Amani Alit. I am from Simbok. Actually, it's my first, my second time coming here. And so, my neighbor and my sister, she invited me the first time when we, you had the, we had the program on Friday, but it's keeping my mind. So when she told me, let's go, I said, I, I forgot. Don't bother, I'll come the next day. 
so her mother now came to me again and said i am the one talking to you alice let's go i said okay i took my dress and washed and then i came to church notre soeur c'est la deuxième fois qu'elle vient ici à l'église la première fois qu'on l'a invité c'était vendredi et elle a oublié et quand son, sa, sa voisine est venue la rappeler que pourquoi je ne suis pas venue à l'église le, le jour avant, elle a dit qu'elle a oublié simplement et qu'elle va, rev- va venir le prochain jour. Ok, so when I came now for the service, uh, I just, I told God, Lord, you've looked for another way to bring me to your house again. Here am I, talk to me. Let the message be directed to me. So in the message, the man of God was talking, like he said, Uh, the quality of your sacrifice matters. So when? Et quand notre sœur est venue hier pendant le culte pour sa première fois, elle a écouté la prédication. Mais avant d'écouter la prédication, elle a prié que le Seigneur la parle personnellement. Et quand elle a écouté le message, l'homme de Dieu a dit clairement que le, ton sacrifice, le, la qualité de ton sacrifice est très important. So when he said so, I was like, yeah, he really elaborated and expanded it very well to, to the way. Even a kind of mind can really understand. And then he said again, when you will go home in your dream, God will show you something. Et notre sœur, elle a écouté le message et le message était tellement bien expliqué que, que tout le monde pouvait comprendre hier. Et l'homme de Dieu encore dit que quand vous allez rentrer à la maison, vous aurez des songes et des rêves. So when I went home now, it was very difficult for me to sleep because When I came to church, I never had any Jordan, I don't have any Bible because I've been away for, from church for a long time. So when I came, it was difficult for me to sleep. I just recorded everything he was saying in my phone. So I put my earpiece on my ear and put the record back and he was talking and... Dans notre soeur, en venant à l'église, elle, pas, elle n'est pas venue avec son calepin et son stylo. Donc elle a pris l'initiative de utiliser le mégaphone où elle a enregistré tout ce qu'elle a écouté à l'église et à la maison. Elle ne pouvait pas dormir bien et elle a écouté le message encore à travers son téléphone qu'elle a enregistré. So finally I fell like asleep and then in that sleep now I saw myself dressed in a sparkling white. The white was was like when I looked myself like that the white was reflecting to my eyes I could not even look what I was dressed uh, what I was dressed on. Then after I saw one man by my side very dirty he was in mud like he was covered with mud trying to touch me I was just like no they see my wife no they see my wife then after I was like trying to run away from the man the man is only shifting and coming shifting and coming until I had to look for a place now to hide so when I hid myself somewhere now there was one woman who was trying to like tell that man this is the girl this is the girl I was telling the man no 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 I don't want him to date my wife I don't want him to date my wife Elle s'est rentrée à la maison, elle a eu un rêve. Et dans ce rêve, elle s'est vue et s'habillait en, en habit blanc. Elle était vraiment, elle resplendissait dans son rêve. Et subitement, elle a vu quelqu'un qui se tenait à côté d'elle, qui était plutôt sale. Et la personne avait la sali. Et là, elle a évité cette personne. Et continuellement, une autre personne est venue, a dit encore clairement que voilà la fille que tu cherches. Et l'homme là voulait encore la suivre. Elle, elle s'est cachée continuellement. So finally, the man looked for me and could not see me because I hid myself somewhere and he, he left. So when I got up in the morning, I was like, God, what is this dream all about? Up to today, uh, up to when I left home back to church today, I did not still understand the meaning of that dream. So now when I was seated down there and then everything, the dream came back to my head. And then I just said to myself, my journey has begun. To me, that was how I just narrated it. Quand elle s'est réveillée dans son songe, elle n'a rien compris. Mais quand elle est venue encore à l'église aujourd'hui, et dans si le rêve est revenu, et l'interprétation est venue aussi, et elle croit que son nouveau commencement, ou son commencement vient de commencer maintenant. So I'm just here to thank God for receiving me again as a prodigal daughter. And I, I thank God again for always sending his angels to me, even when sometimes I try to neglect them. Thank you. Et notre sœur, elle veut remercier le Seigneur pour envoyer ses anges, pour la sauver et tout cela que le Seigneur a utilisé pour l'aider. Parce que parfois, le Seigneur parle, mais elle refuse d'écouter. Donc, elle veut rendre grâce à Dieu pour cela. So, this is the interpretation of your dream. Voici l'interprétation de votre rêve. The dark figure you saw beside you. L'image noire que vous avez vue dans votre rêve. That was you. C'était vous. 
before you came to avant, church avant que vous venez de venir à l'église and then the one that was looking at the other one now dirty is the new you et celui qui regardait l'autre était sale et tout le